Hi, I'm Summer Olson, your BSDS Development Officer for Precision Agriculture. Now, Precision Agriculture can help you to manage your farm more efficiently and can lead to improved productivity and profitability. It can also help you to manage for improved environmental health. But what exactly is Precision Ag? Is GPS Precision Agriculture? If you drive a tractor like this with auto steer, does that mean that you're doing Precision Ag? Well, while these are useful tools, Using GPS on its own, or auto steer, it's not precision ag. Precision agriculture involves identifying the variability on your farm and variability in productivity and managing for that variability. There are a variety of tools and technologies out there to help you do that, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. Now, you might be surprised at the amount of variability that can be found in one paddock. Let's take a look at a yield map from a 27 hectare paddock in the Burdekin. This paddock contains a few different varieties, but otherwise it's managed uniformly. The average yield in this block is 176.5 tons per hectare, but the map shows yields ranging from less than 80 tons per hectare in red to more than 280 tons per hectare in blue. That's a big range, more than 200 tons per hectare. Observing variability in the crop is the first step in the precision ag process. This is preferably done using yield maps, which require a yield monitor on the harvester, but it can also be done using remote sensing. Next, you want to look at other sources of information which may help in understanding the crop variability. Things like soil and elevation maps, soil tests, and records of farm inputs like fertilizers and herbicides. Evaluating all of this information together can give you a better understanding of the causes of variability on your farm. Then you can consider establishing management zones, and you can start to manage each zone differently, creating a more efficient system. For example, if you discover that you have sodic soils in, that are affecting productivity in one area of your farm, you could apply gypsum only in the areas where it's needed rather than a blanket application across the whole paddock. This saves time, money, and resources. So the take home message is that precision agriculture allows you to identify variability and to use this as a basis for making more informed decisions about your management and about how to use your on-farm resources most effectively. Uh, in future videos, we'll discuss in more detail what information you need to start identifying variability on your farm and we'll look at some of the tools and technologies that are available for use in sugarcane production. And then we'll also look at some examples of growers who are using innovative practices to manage variability on their farms.